Huck. Coach, your initial thoughts after a good win for the Grizzlies? Yeah, another, uh, that was a great game, exciting game again this week. And uh, I was really proud of our team, the way they uh, they fought back from some some really tough situations in the first half. Uh, you know, there are a lot of different things going on out there, offense, defense, special teams, uh, a lot of uh, up and down, a lot of moving parts, a lot of adjustment uh, needing to be made by our guys. And I know this is going to be a bombshell to some of you, but the, most of the football game doesn't show up on the stat sheet. And, you know, a lot of the things that Logan did today were just spectacular. And, uh, you know, he just played money all day. The defense was tremendous. Um, we gave up three on a roughing the punter. Uh, we gave up the first touchdown to go down 7 nothing on a takeaway uh, from our offense. And they got, they got an 80-some yarder on a Daffy Duck play. That was it. So uh, I was proud of our defense. I thought they played great. And I'm, I'm um, certainly excited to get a win here in front of front of our homecoming crowd of whatever 26 27,000 questions Bobby you said Logan did a lot of spectacular things can you just expand on what some of those things were sure he got us into some read stuff some protections and some run game that uh, that he checked on the field Logan first Two previous two games, you guys had put up a ton of points. Just what was the mindset at halftime? What did you feel started working for you guys in the second half? And just how did you stay in it to get something working on offense? Right. Uh, definitely not the way we plan to start. Three points in the first half is what we're not used to. Um, that was kind of just a little bit of everything, shooting ourselves in the foot, um, kind of not seeing the stuff that was there early. Um, obviously, my mistake of coughing up the ball, I got to get rid of that early. Um, but we were really optimistic, especially at halftime. We know what we're capable of. We're no Everything that we had in the game plan is still there to make. Um, I think we just did a better job of staying ahead of the chains and, and executing in the second half. And everyone kind of did their job, and uh, it worked out. Bobby, can you speak to just offensive adjustments you guys made at halftime? And what did you feel was the biggest difference with the offense in the second half? Well, a couple things. Like Logan just said, it. we were, we were uh, better in first down. Um, better in first and second down made it, made it uh, better for us. And then uh, we played some uh, more three and four man edges that took care of some of their edge pressure. Yeah. Riley, what do you think about the defense today? And obviously they threw a lot of, you know, little different things, you know, at you on offense uh, with the scheme and the, you know, backup quarterback, but overall your thoughts on how you guys did today? I think this defense responds to adversity well. I mean, last week we had a bad taste in our mouth. Throughout this season, you know, we've had a, a target on our back. I feel like today we stepped up, we executed in our assignment, we executed in our everyone doing their job, and it just really is a taste of what this defense can do, and the sky's the limit for us. Logan, what's it like when you can't get into that rhythm early and it feels like you know you can get to some stuff, but it's out of rhythm? How do you, like, stay patient in the beginning of the game like that? Uh, it's just staying optimistic on the sideline. Uh, kind of now that we have the film on the sideline, it helps. We kind of go over what we could have been better at. Um, talk with the O-line, talk with the receivers, make adjustments over the phone with Coach Pease. But uh, I think just staying optimistic. We knew at some point we're, our big plays were going to come. We just had to stay at it, um, stay focused on the next play, don't get worked up about the last one. Um, so w we knew at some point we were going to get our plays and get our <laughs> yards, and it was just a matter of time. And um, the offense did a really good job being focused throughout the whole game. Coach, when it was 24-20, um, and it was the timeout on second long, and then you do the, the play action to Fonts, after that, that timeout, just your thoughts on, on that play and kind of being safe but uh, aggressive there and not necessarily like, you know, maybe running it and setting up a field goal? You know, I don't remember it. I, I'll have to go back. I don't remember it. We w The 40 seconds, and they called the timeout, so the game oh, clock could keep going. Yeah. yeah, like you could have run it up the middle yeah, and set yeah, up a yeah, field yeah. goal, but you kind of have yeah. the aggressive but safe play there. And, and yeah, like I mean, a really I, nice call. you know, it, it's a, a lot of the stuff is checked as well. But, uh, you know, the one thing we had – was time to talk about it. Um, and then we thought they had to use timeout, and then they were really up against it. And I don't know. We Going up by more than a touchdown was probably what we wanted to do. So what's the discussion is what's the best way to do that. I was thinking third quarter, man. Sorry.
And then last one for me, Logan, uh, some of the checks. I think you had another one where you <coughs> threw it out to Bergen for the little s screen there. Just, I guess, like, how more comfortable are you in the offense and being yeah. able to make, you know, those calls as the season goes on and yeah. that being affected? Yeah, I definitely get uh, week, at, week in, week out, we get more familiar with the offense. But we have a, a game plan week to week, and Coach Pease and our offensive staff does a really good job kind of um, relaying that message to the offense, especially quarterback this week. NAU, they, they run their defense man and zone, but in third, they want to get you in behind the chains, put you in third down, and give you different pressure looks. Uh, they got into zero a couple times. We knew we had to check out of that. Um, obviously, they brought that zero and made me fumble in the first quarter. So we got our checks in place, and uh, that was kind of just you got to take what the defense gives you. Uh, they dropped into zone on that play, and uh, there's a lot of space for Junior to work. So that was one of the things we talked about throughout the week, and um, it showed up late and it gave us a good first down. Bobby, the defense had a couple of stands in the first half that just allowed three points, but did anything change going into the second half? How'd you like how they maybe settled in, you know, that really kind of hold things down aside from the big play? Yeah, I, th I thought they played great the first half too, Kyle. It was great. I mean, they didn't give up anything. We They had them stopped on the one field goal drive, and we were off the punter. So um, they, they really gave up nothing in the first half. Um, and then the, the, the trick play to – went out the gate on us the second half. I mean, I'm not real happy about that, but I mean, stuff happens. The, the defense was really good all day, the entire game, play one to play whatever the 60 they had. So it's good. Similar question for you, Riley. Did anything change in the second half? Did you guys settle in a little bit more? Or just what was kind of your perspective from first half to second half on the defensive side today? Um, I think we just really stuck to the game plan and just uh, focusing more on just making sure we get the, those guys down in our tackles and stuff. And I really think we executed and everyone really did their job and led us to get that W. Coach, 5-2, and two, heading into the, the off week now, I guess, you know, how do you look ahead to the off week and what's, how do you guys use this week and take a break and what, what do you, how, how do you feel about the season so far where you guys are at? Um, I mean, I'm happy about today. Uh, I think our best football is probably ahead of us, <coughs> if I'm guessing right. Uh, still got work to do, so we'll go practice this week. Have a great, have a great week of practice, and then, and then uh, get going on uh, on uh, the next one. Bobby, you said one of your favorite things about Logan is his ability to bounce back after a mistake. You know, the fumble on the opening drive, he, them, him, and the offense goes back on the field, kicks the field goal. Just your thoughts on that whole sequence. Yeah, I think that resilience and, and competitiveness are attributes that every football player should have. And, you know, he, he's got it. Um, doesn't go in a shell when he makes a mistake. Uh, again, he hasn't started a, a ton of football games in his college career. And so he keeps growing. <coughs> I think that's uh, an acquired skill at quarterback. I watched this defense that we played against rattle some other quarterbacks that they played against. And, uh, didn't happen to this guy, so I'm I'm proud of him. Anybody else? Nothing, Fritz. Oh, one more right here. Call me. All right.